Dear learners, welcome to a video on radiation power density and radiated power. Radiation power density and radiated power is an important performance parameter of an antenna. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate radiated power. So normally uh, we know that uh, how to calculate the power flow in the circuits. In the circuit theory, power is calculated by the product of voltage and current. But how we calculate the power flow in electromagnetic fields, it is uh, with the help of pointing vector. As we know that electromagnetic waves are used to transport information through wireless medium or a guiding structure from one point to another point. Hence, it is natural to assume that power and energy associated with the electromagnetic fields. The quantity used to describe the power associated with the electromagnetic waves is the instantaneous pointing vector. The instantaneous pointing vector is W vector that is equal to E vector cross H vector. When the electromagnetic wave travels in space, the power density of radiation by an antenna is related to electric and magnetic fields, which is W vector is equal to E vector cross H vector, where W vector is instantaneous pointing vector in watts per meter square. E vector is instantaneous electric field intensity, unit is watt volts per meter. Similarly, H vector is instantaneous magnetic field intensity, unit is ampere per meter. For instantaneous power is obtained by P instantaneous is surface integral of W vector dot ds vector. Pointing vector or radiation power density is integrated over the closed surface. The surface which is normal to the direction of radiation. Where P is the instantaneous total power in watts. A in vector is unit vector normal to the surface. Ds is the differential amount of surface of the closed surface in meter square. For time harmonic EM fields, E vector and H vector both are function of uh, space and time. So now the pointing vector W vector is equal to E vector cross H vector. It can be written as 1 by 2 real part of E vector cross complex conjugate of H vector plus 1 by 2 E vector cross H vector E power J 2 omega t. So in these two terms, the first term is the real part, the second one is the imaginary part, it is a reactive power. For time varying fields, it is more desirable to find the average power density which is obtained by integrating the instantaneous pointing vector over one period and dividing by the period. For time harmonic variations of the form E power J omega T, the complex fields E vector and H vector are related by their instantaneous counterparts of E vector and H vector as E vector is real of E vector x, y, z, E power j omega t. Similarly, magnetic field is real part of H vector x, y, z, E power j omega t. Now, the average power density W average is W vector x, y, z, T average is 1 by 2 real of E vector cross complex conjugate of H vector. Where E vector and H vector are peak values and the term 1 by 2 is omitted when converted to RMS values. Now, uh, we are going to calculate average radiated power. Average radiated power is obtained by integrating the average uh, power density over the closed surface. So, here closed surface integral W average dot A n ds. 
we consider the surface normal to the direction of r so the relationship between e vector and h vector is e does equal to e by h we know that the intrinsic impedance is the ratio of magnitude of electric field intensity to the magnitude of magnetic field intensity it can be written as e is equal to eta h or h is equal to e by eta we substitute these simple relations in the average power radiated and the uh, power density w average is equal to e squared by 2 eta ar vector or eta h squared by 2 ar vector so from this we can write radiated power p rad is equal to 1 by 2 eta closed surface integral e squared ar vector dot ds vector unit is watts in this way we calculate the uh, radiated power by an antenna so the power density associated with the electromagnetic fields of an antenna in its four field region is predominantly real which is referred to as radiation density next we are coming to power radiation power density here i consider one example how to calculate the radiated power from the given radiation power density the given uh, power density average power density is a not sin theta by r square a r vector unit is watts per meter square so from this we have to calculate the total radiated power the total radiated power becomes p rad is equal to closed surface integral w average dot a n vector d that is surface differential surface so now we integrate uh, this average power density with respect to theta and pi we substitute the limits for theta as 0 to pi pi is 0 to 2 pi after evaluating this integration we will get pi square a not watts this is the radiated power for the given average power density so in this way we calculate the radiated power by an antenna next we are going to calculate the power density of an isotropic antenna as we know that isotropic antenna it radiates equal amount of power in all directions so p rad is equal to closed surface integral w not vector dot ds vector back this w not vector is w not of r ar vector and we substitute the differential surface ds vector is ar vector r square sin theta d theta d phi this is for spectral coordinate system okay the integration limit is from 0 to pi and limit for pi is 0 to 2 pi after evaluating this integration we will get 4 pi square w not watts now we have p rad so from this we are going to write power density w not vector is equal to ar vector w not is equal to ar vector p rad by 4 pi r square watts per meter square now the power density of isotropic antenna is p rad by 4 pi r square watts per meter square i hope you would understand the term radiation density and how to calculate the radiated power by an antenna from this video thank you